Man, he had one long season behind that camera. That is the truth. Dude, let's go get him. You know, after getting the ball started earlier with an amazing puck, uh, he spent the rest of his season, you know, trying to lay down video for me to get a buck. You get back up? No. Oh, shit. So the rut week comes, the magic week, you know, plan going into this, I was going to hunt the farm in the mornings and give him the opportunities to harvest does in the evenings at the new property that we picked up in Adams County. But as it seems to happen every single year, the plans change. We found ourselves hunting the new property in the morning on November 4th, trying to harvest a doe for my grandma. And he... He put me up front, you know, he let me hunt that morning and uh, it almost came together for us, man. We had a doe come in, freaking 10 yards was the very first time I seen it, it was already at 10 yards. He couldn't get around on it and unfortunately we didn't get the shot on film. And I remember giving him such crap about it, man, but after you sit down and you think about it, there's really no way he was going to be able to get on that deer and, you know, he took it. So that evening, he was gonna have a chance to redeem himself and fill one of his doe tags after being behind the camera for so long. But we had these bucks come in. So we're switching the camera, we're switching the bow because we're trying to get me the bow to shoot the bucks and him the camera to videotape it. Well, that didn't work out, so we have this doe coming in and it walks right in the shooting lane and he pulls the crossbow up and just a little bit too close to the tree. He misses. It's been a bad day for me. She walked right into our hole. I didn't hit record this morning. I had a dove wide open. And when I shot, the boat kicked the shit out of me. I was like, what the heck? He would get a shot again to get out from behind the camera on November 16th. We decided that we was gonna hunt out a ground blind tonight. Uh, you know, we've seen a lot of turkeys. And it was probably about 10.30. We was just about to get out and this doe walks out. Broadside, 15 yards, and hits the ground block. Which brings us to gun season. After struggling with me through November and then cold, frosty mornings, he's back up the bat with a muzzleloader in hand. We head back to the ground blind in hopes of getting him a shot at a deer. Now it is raining miserable out there sitting in this ground blind but just it, it's a beautiful beautiful evening hunt you know we get a break in the rain and out of nowhere comes this doe and this is what it comes down to all the misses all the hours put in the tree stand coming down for this final moment we're talking the second weekend the second weekend of deer season was that he killed that buck and it all comes down to this moment, right here in time, to make this shot. This has been Hambro's Outdoors Behind the Camera Chronicles. Hey, I hope you guys liked it. If you do, please like us, subscribe, come to our website, www.hambrosoutdoors.com.